Hello everyone. I show you DigiMaker R1 unboxing and installation today. First of all, open the package and take out all parts. Before power on, please refer to the instruction in SD card. The user manual and the video was included in the SD card. Toolbox, power code, filament holder arm and filament holder bracket. Filament run of detection switch. LCD screen, the frame. One row filament. Okay, the last part, the base. Move the back protection foam. This is two back. The spare parts inside as follows. First step, install the frame. For easy installation, we suggest move the base out of dex edge and fix it by M5 multiple 45. Next, remove the Z-axis protective bow. Put the timing bow and get under extruder. Cut off the cable tie and fix it by two pieces and three multiple three. Insert it into extruder and place it in buck cable buckle. Install filament holder with one piece screw and three multiple turn. Then install the filament holder arm with two piece and four multiple 20. Install filament run out detection switch by one piece shoulder screw. Install LCD screen package with four piece M5 multiple turn. Cut off the cable tie. Connect with the LCD screen. Install into the bracket. Connect cables and please pay attention to the connected direction. First Z axis motor cable. Filament run out detection switch transfer cable. X axis motor cable. SSS limit switch cable. Last, final run of detection switch cable. Then installation is completed. Then power on the machine. Take out the power code. Remove the warning label. Connect with printer. Turn on the machine. Before printing, we need to level the band. Take out the leveling test card from toolbox and tear off the Protective field both sides. Pull it on the back. Click to leveling. Baby step. Put the leveling card to feel the resistance between nozzle and platform. If there's too much resistance, please click Z plus. If there's less resistance, please click Z minus. Till there's appropriate resistance between nozzle and platform. Baby step 5 turning is finished. Click back. Click auto level. Click yes. Now, bed is heating. When the bed temperature reaches to 50 degrees, the auto level will start. Automatic leveling in progress. Please wait for completion. Automatic leveling is complete. Press yes to return. Click back. Next, we perform film loading. Before film loading, we need to preheat the nozzle. Click preheat. Click add. Now the extruder is heating. When the extruder temperature reaches to 200 degrees, we will start to feed in the filament. Take out testing filament. Tighten the filament end. And cut a bevel. Pass it through filament run out detection switch to extruder. Clip back. Auto filament. Load. Yes. When this filament come out from nozzle smoothly, that means your filament loading is complete. Take out SD card. Pay attention to the SD card direction. Insert into machine. Click back. Back. Printing. Choose a file you want to print. Yes. Now, extruder and back is heating. When the bed and student bridge reach to preset value, the printer will start to print. During printing process, we need to observe our previous leveling is best or not. We can operate here. Click operation. Baby step. If the filament out cannot stick to the bed, click Z minus. 
If the filament didn't out from nozzle, click the plus. This is JJ Maker Album 3D printer unboxing and installation. Thank you.